In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to set up your BlackBerry Curve 8520, including controls and overview. Turn the handset over so the screen is facing down. Hold the phone grip and using the lip, flip off the back cover. This is your SIM card slot. Slide your SIM card into the slot as shown with the chip facing down. This is your micro SD memory card slot. Your Curve 8520 can handle up to 16 gigs using a micro SD memory card. Slot it in just as shown. Pop your battery back into the handset ensuring the connectors are facing the right direction. And now pop the back cover onto the handset. Along the left hand side of your 8520 is your voice dialing key which can be customised to use other functions. You also have a one port for all USB port which connects your data cable and home and in-car chargers. Plus a 3.5mm jack for your hands-free kit. Along the right hand side you have your volume controls and customisable camera shortcut button. At the top of the handset are your music control keys, rewind, play and fast forwards. Your play button also doubles as a standby and in-call mute key. On the reverse of the handset is your 2 megapixel camera. You have a well spaced QWERTY keyboard which is good for messaging, with shift and alt keys to quickly type numbers and symbols. Pressing the alt key, then the left shift key, will activate your number and symbols lock mode. Pressing the ALT and the right SHIFT key will activate your caps lock mode. Pressing and holding down the letter A will switch on your key lock. At the top of your QWERTY keyboard, you have your green call key, menu button, trackpad and back keys, and your red end call key. When you first switch on your Curve 8520, you'll be taken through a setup wizard. First you need to select your desired language, and then your keyboard input. Now, you can set the date and time. Select your time zone if not already selected. Use your numeric keyboard to type the numbers required for both the time and the date fields. Next, opt for either 12 or 24 hour clock. And finally, set the date. You can either scroll up or down using your trackpad, or enter the date using your numeric keypad. This part of the wizard focuses on navigation and how to use your trackpad and gain access to your menu. Your wizard is now guiding you through how to type numbers, symbols using your QWERTY keyboard. Once complete, you'll be able to set up your email too. We have created a separate tutorial for email setup. This is your home screen with your customizable shortcuts at the bottom of the screen. Pressing the green call key will show you both your mobile number and any dialed or received and missed calls. Press the red end call key to return back to the home screen. This is your menu button, and this is your main menu. Use your trackpad to navigate your way around your phone's menu.
At the top right of your screen, you have your network signal strength and data connection mode. Wi-Fi connection is switched on, time and date and network operator name. Any status symbols like voicemail and messages, profile icon and finally your battery life meter. You can quickly change your alert profile by selecting your profile icon. And you can even change your ringing tone from your home screen by selecting advanced. In this video tutorial, we showed you how to set up your BlackBerry Curve 8520, insert your SIM card and cover all the basic controls. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Many thanks.